Mobile World Congress kicks off on Monday, and along with major tech firms, small startups will be showing off their virtual reality headsets. So what can we expect from the big guys versus those smaller companies? Well, joining us now to talk about that is Joan Salzman, business and technology editor at The Wrap. Joan, thanks for joining us today. Great to be here. So a number of companies are set to show off virtual reality and augmented reality headsets at Mobile World Congress. What will be the most interesting? Well, the ones that will get the most attention are the big companies, names that you know. Samsung is expected to focus on VR, again, make a renewed push for its VR efforts after it released a video teaser featuring VR prominently. Great. And virtual reality headsets are not exactly seeing widespread use just yet. We're still seeing a lot of products uh, that are just starting to hit the market. But how much do you think people will be adopting these devices in the near future? Well, major companies, Facebook, Google, Samsung, Microsoft, they're all betting big that VR is going to be basically the next smartphone. It's going to become a thing that's ubiquitous among consumers and businesses in multiple applications in their daily lives. And in addition to being used to enhance things like video game playing, uh, VR and AR developers are working on business uses for these devices as well. Let's talk a little bit about those. Some of them are interesting. Right. So a lot of the big companies that we all know about are focusing on the consumer aspects because the market for that is so big. But there are some smaller companies that are focusing on the enterprise business applications up front. And can you give us some example of those companies and, and how would we be seeing those applied? Sure. One company, Vuzix, which is an exhibitor at Mobile World Congress, it already has its smart glasses in the field at some major global corporations. DHL, uh, its warehouse workers, use its smart glasses to scan barcodes. Um, Airbus, the airline maker, uses the smart glasses for the final assembly of cabins and seating to reduce errors and increase efficiency. It's really fascinating to me. I, I know one of the things we have seen in the past with other types of technology adoption is sometimes it does get adopted on the commercial front before it makes its way to the consumer front. Do you think there's a little bit of a, a race in terms of uh, where we'll see the more widespread adoption, at least initially, for these types of technologies? There's a breakneck race going on right now with so many deep-pocketed technology companies funneling so much investment into creating the headsets to deliver VR. Got it. Well, Joan Solzman, thanks for joining us. Thanks for uh, teeing up Mobile World Congress for us on the VR side. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.